welcome back folks. In today's video, we're gonna do a whole bunch of mowing, but before we can get to mowing, we gotta set up this brush hog. Now I've already got it hooked up to the three point hitch, and now I just wanna show you what I look for when I make sure it's level when I lower it down. So the tractor's off, but the hydraulics will still allow the brush hog to go down. So pay attention right here, and what I wanna do is this, this has some play in it. And what I want is I want this to carry some of the weight of the brush hog in the back. I do that by lengthening or shortening the top link. And I think I got it set pretty good here just by accident, but I'm gonna lower it down and I wanna see this take up some of the weight and the side rails not hit. So I want right here to like barely be off the ground and I want some of the weight to be on the back of the brush hog. Another thing we're gonna do is you see it's got a little bit of side to side play, which is good in case you hit a tree or a stump on the side, but I wanna tighten that up a little bit. So first let's check and see how it's adjusted. So she's coming down, tail wheel has hit, Tail wheel now is holding up some of the brush hog and it's not resting right here. Okay, so when I'm brush hogging, I want this to barely skim the ground. So this can actually go down a little bit more and I want this even on both sides. And I'll show you what you have to adjust to get that right. But this could go down maybe an inch more than it would skim the ground by an inch and still have weight on the back end. So here on the back end, you can see that there's weight down on the brush hog. I can still lift up on it. There's not like all of the weight on the brush hog, but there's some of it down here on the tail wheel, so it won't bounce as much. And if I were to lower it down just a little bit more to get the clearance I want on the side, then it would have a little bit more weight here. Now here's the other side in the clearance, and this is almost exactly as the first side we looked at. And the way you adjust that is with one of the adjustable sway bar arms, and I'll show you that in a minute, but that's that's pretty much perfect between the two sides. Now, sometimes your tractor might be bent a little bit, that's unlikely, but what's very likely is that your brush hog hitches are bent, so you may have to compensate for some bends in, in your metal, but you can get this pretty much perfect on both sides by adjusting this link. Let me show you. You have two vertical rods that go down to your sway bar that are hooked up here to the top to a cylinder that's inside of your tractor right there, and that's what raises your three-point hitch but you can see one of these sides is adjustable and one of these sides is fixed. So you just loosen up that jam nut and adjust that, either lengthen it or shorten it, and that'll get your sway bars level and the sides of your brush hog level. Now here's your top link, and you either lengthen this. If you lengthen it, it'll put more weight on the tail wheel. If you shorten it, it'll put less weight on the tail wheel. Mine's not tight, I just gotta tighten that nut right there, and then she'll be good to go. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is grease this tail wheel. Just put some shots of grease in here. Keep this nice and lubed. And then the actual tail wheel itself. It's got a grease fitting here on the inside. So there's your grease fitting and I'm just pumping grease in there. Okay, so I'll prop this up so when I get under it, it can't fall on me when I sharpen the blades. So you see me sharpen my blades on my brush hog a lot on this channel. But in this particular brush hog, it's mainly for mowing the pastures here at Piney Grove. And for three reasons, I want those blades really sharp. First reason is disease control. The more ragged the cut of your grass, the more apt it is disease can get in there and harm your grass. Number two, it's a brush hog. So it's only got two blades to cut and they go around fairly slow at 540 RPM. So every time it contacts grass that's elevated, you know, already cut grass, I want it to chop that up and help me mulch it up so that it lays down and provides nutrients to the grass that's there. The clippings become mulched better, I guess is a better way of putting it. And then the third reason is sharp blades means it slices through the grass easier, and that means it's less strain on the tractor and the tractor engine. So for those three reasons, I highly recommend you sharpen your brush hog blades. All right, finally, I'm ready to mow. I got my Florida suit on, I'm ready to tackle this five acres of pasture.
So it's mowing really good. The sharpened blades really help. It's just whistling right through that grass, no problem. Handling the clumps, no problem. But I noticed that the back end of the bush hog is kind of riding a little high. So I'm gonna lengthen the top length, put a little bit more downward pressure on it, and that should make the ride a little smoother, at least for the brush hog. It's not gonna change the ride for me. So as I stopped the tractor, I turned off the PTO, but then I ran it into some high grass. That just helped it stop the blades quicker so I could work on it. Just gonna make this longer. So I lengthened it out about an inch worth of threads, put more downward pressure on the tail wheel, should ride a lot smoother now. It's a very basic farm task, but there's something extremely satisfying about mowing pasture. But I resharpened the blades, got them nice and sharp for the rest of the work I'm gonna do today. Hydrated and got a snack, so I'm ready to finish up mowing. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, y'all.